Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Remember Project Twitch? Autodesk testbed that lets you run full-fledged CAD applications like Inventor and Revit remotely without installing it? It's part of the company's vision that cloud computing will become the preferred way of software use in the future. This week, Autodesk pushes forward with the public release of Project Butterfly. It's a technology preview that lets you view, edit, annotate, share, and save 2D CAD drawings from a browser window. No download, no installation, not even a thin client. Your browser is the client application. All you do is launch the software from this link, available at Autodesk Labs. Once you're in, you'll find familiar AutoCAD commands. We're looking at a preloaded mechanical drawing here. I can place a dimension, then I can select, move, and rotate this group. I can also draw new sections with the polyline 2 and mark it up with cloud and a text string. For more detail work, I can pick vertices and edit them by moving them around. Now if you need to undo, which I had to do a lot, you'll find the undo command in this corner, which took me some time to find because I kept looking for it under edit. The polyline tool commands icon seems to suggest you can draw straight lines and arc at the same time. But that's not the case. You'll need to draw your straight lines and arc separately under different tools under the draw menu. There are also various ways to view your drawing, in CAD mode, in grey lines, and in black lines drawing. Now depending on your internet connection speed, you may see some delay in response to your commands, which create what I call the sticky mouse syndrome. In my trial, this is more noticeable with some more complex commands like mirror or scale, probably because these commands require much more display data to be transmitted back and forth. Snapping your objects to edges and vertices is fairly easy, but I can't seem to activate some of the inferencing lines that I'm used to seeing. For instance, the dotted lines that guide you to place your mouse precisely on the midpoints of a line on the center of an existing circle. At the moment, you can only select less than 30 objects, so if you'd like to share your drawings with someone using this, keep that in mind as you set up your session. Now sharing brings up a good point. I can't help but notice that there is no new drawing button, which seems to suggest the application, at least in its current state, is meant for editing existing drawings rather than starting something from scratch. This application has a co-editing feature, so you can invite somebody to edit or review a drawing with you at the same time. I invited Martin Day, a fellow editor and cat reporter from Develop 3D magazine. You see here two mice. The grey one represents Martin, the white one is me. There's no passing of the baton to decide who controls the screen and who sits and watch. Martin and I can both be editing at different areas of the drawing and rotating objects at the same time. The application also comes with a chat window function, so you and your reviewer or collaborator can be talking about what you see. Now this, I find, is a much more productive way to discuss issues than exchanging emails and swapping annotated drawings back and forth. With Project Twitch, you can open your file or save them, but can only work with preloaded files. But with Project Butterfly, you can. That's no secret I'm a big fan of cloud computing. I like this mode because, well, I'm someone who looks at and reports on lots of software, installing them and uninstalling them from my machine is a pain. But beyond this personal preference, I just think for viewing, mock-up and online collaboration, conducting the session through a browser window makes so much more sense. We're not planning to design something from the ground up, so why waste computing resources by launching our full CAD systems? Martin and I can't help but leave our marks to this test drawing online. So this is our legacy here. I'd like to thank Mr. Day for being my collaborator for this mock collaboration session especially because I enjoy mocking his drawing skills. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, wishing you safe and happy flight on the wings of the butterfly.